for this. Ready, set, vlog. Today is the day of the last event. Um, we're at the Radisson and we're training the Radisson staff. So we are on our way to check out the room for the last event. We wanted to see if we could see the room. Sure, we're going there right now. Excellent. So you guys want to present to? Yes, sir. For you guys this afternoon. That's right. Mm -hmm. Very nice. Mm. The setup is what? Because I think you guys prefer to be elevated a little bit, right? Yeah. If you could put that table over here, I could put the projector right here. Okay. That's a great setup. That's a great setup. All right, so we're here. We have one more case of business. We have to, that's the glass that we got yesterday. We have to add it to the rest of the glass that we have. The best revenge you can give anyone is to prove to them that they were wrong because you're gonna do things right. You're gonna write books, you're gonna change lives. Every one of you have something to change someone's life. We celebrate when we have babies. You're like, oh my God. God, look how beautiful, and it's an ugly baby. <laughs> you guys ready for this, yes or no? Yeah. Laugh at the fire. Just finished up doing the uh, last event we had today. Soon we'll go change and join the reception, which is being set up here in the same room that we were doing our event. Notice, no more chairs and a table full of drinks. I'm ready for one. After you came to prison, those guys were so excited because they usually spend most of their time locked up. And this was such a treat to be treated like a human being. I think that was a big message that came across so loud and clear. Well, good evening and thank you for being with us. Restore please. Victor and I from Chamberlain Consulting want to thank all of you for coming on the journey with us. For all of our sponsors, um, the BTV, the Radisson Fort George, Angelo's Press, Paul, thank you for bringing them here with Delta Airlines. And we'll have each other potentially say a few words and then we'll continue having drinks and talking for a little while. Yes, let's do it. <laughs> Big thank you. Because of you, we are here. Thank you for helping us out with the story. It was an absolutely amazing experience. I really, really want to thank specifically Dion and Victor. They were with us the entire Tour. To be honest with you guys, it was a dream come true for me. It was just spectacular, and I can only hope that the rest of the tour is as amazing as this one. I've been speaking for over 19 years, and this is by far the only time in my life I've been speechless. Because I am so honored to be in your country, and the way you guys helped us do this and made it a reality. Thank you so much. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> so this is the whole team, guys. <laughs> oh my God, our new vlogger, Ronald. I think you guys really touched a lot of people, made a lot of families. So you were part of it, man. I'm glad. I'm really glad. <laughs> By far, my favorite moment would be at the cocktail party when we were watching the highlights video. Because unlike, I think, everybody else in the team, I hadn't seen it before. So it was when I was watching it that it hit me. It was like, oh my god, we really went to all of those schools. We really touched all of those lives. And we were surrounded by all of these people, all of the sponsors at the cocktail party who were just as enthralled. And it was just like, wow, look at the this thing that we started, this ripple effect. When Bert was signing autographs and I was next to him putting the stickers, you know, on the kids' phones and stuff like that, seeing the reaction to what they just heard and what they just experienced, especially the ones that participated or volunteered, it, it, that was just life changing for me. The Potentialists will be working on a program to make sure that we stay in touch with these kids as much as we can throughout the year before we go back the following year. And we can only hope that each country invites us to go back for their kids, for more kids, for, you know, remind the kids that you just, you know, everybody needs a little bit of inspiration every now and then. Now my favorite event was the fourth day. Uh, we were in the Bliss Auditorium in Belize and it was amazing. I mean, the, the kids there, I think there was like 600 plus kids when Bert was really engaging with them and had them all do make it happen and they were dancing and laughing and learning. I mean, it's things like that that just really like, wow, you know, we actually made a difference. We gave someone knowledge and they're gonna go home with that knowledge. At the prison, uh, we were all, I was very nervous. I felt like the entire team probably was very much on edge uh, and we weren't really sure what to expect. You know, we had a 
whole auditorium or gymnasium there of prisoners. You know, you could see all their faces. And it was amazing to see the uh, vast majority of them, how they had, you could see the transformation in their faces, how they were engaged. My biggest takeaway was the actual prison. What I liked about the prison was that we really did not know what to expect. When we got there, we were told that it was the worst convicts the entire country has. I mean, we had a, an amazing time seeing them actually transform. We started, they were all looking at us hard, very difficult, like it was like they were not gonna budge. And at the end, they were smiling, they took their glasses off, we were able to see their eyes. They went from one extreme to the other, and to me, that was amazing. The coolest part about the trip you know, besides the actual events and stuff like that, I think was just how we all gelled as a team, how we came together and, you know, besides working well together professionally, just how we, I think we all became closer friends and it was just so much fun. And Maggie, you need to get your Polish butt over here soon. On the times when we weren't working, my favorite part was when we went to um, that little secluded island called Silk Key. It was really cute. We got to swim with the sharks and the fish and we snorkeled and uh, they gave me watermelon on the beach side. This handsome man fed it to me. I mean, it, it was a little paradise. When all of us were in the van together and we were driving, I think, to uh, Placencia, and it was pitch black. There were no lights on the streets, no reflectors, no paint on the roads, and the roads were full of potholes and patches. So all of us were in the car. We were laughing hysterically. In moments like that, when you're with the team and uh, sharing a bunch of good laughs, those are the memories I treasure most. The second day that we were there we had everyone break glass and when I mean everyone we had different sponsors people from the news came by first I didn't believe it and then they actually joined in and helped us make the glass what actually got me is that when we had the first kind of I guess trial run the unofficial run before we went to the events we had the the people that helped us out with breaking the glass walk on the glass and it was just a tremendous experience at the end of the actual tour seeing a room and those 20 sponsors were there and they were celebrating us. We were able to actually touch the lives in a positive way of over 10,000 people in Belize and it all started with a dream. So that really hit me when I saw that. When I saw small group equals major amount of movement in the country, that was huge. Hey guys, this is Bert. And I want you guys to know that you can like, comment, subscribe, and make it happen. And, and guess what? <laughs> <laughs> I'll see you on the other side.